So AFS Connect is the beating heart to Case IH's precision farming and connectivity portfolio. With it bringing an amazing amount of potential to unlock efficiencies that you possibly cannot comprehend today. In this short video, I'm going to bring everything that you need to the table to begin your AFS Connect journey. Compatibility, hardware, software, and price. guys and we are on a mission to teach and to share as much as we can in the agricultural industry. An important piece to consider before you get started with AFS Connect is compatibility. There are two things to think about when it comes to compatibility. Number one, what machines do you currently have in your fleet? What connectivity do they have? What connectivity do you want them to have in the future? The reason this is important to consider now is because going forward, you need to understand that simply put, AFS Connect currently only supports Case IH and New Holland machines. Now, there is a bit of a caveat, which I'll explain later on the video, but to date, really, uh, mixed fleets are not an option with the AFS Connect portal or platform. Number two, what current connectivity do you have on your farm? What solutions are you using for your data today? So the reason why this is important is probably quite obvious, but we need to understand whether what you're using today is going to be compatible with AFS Connect going forward. Now AFS Connect has partnered with some of the uh, industry big dogs, such as Trimble, Climate, Farmer's Edge, and My Easy Farm, and that list is obviously growing but you need to consider whether what you currently are using is going to connect well with the AFS Connect platform. If you are using other connectivity options, just make sure you factor this in when making your decision with AFS Connect. Now, KSAH's approach with data is far more open and connected than John Deere's locked down Fort Knox approach. But either way, just make sure that the compatibility between what you're using now or what you're going to use is going to mesh well with the AFS Connect platform. And lastly, perhaps needless to say, is if you do not have a display within your machine, then you are limited with, slightly limited with the data that you can use in the AFS Connect platform. Primarily talking about agronomic data. So if you don't have a display, you obviously won't have agronomic data and you won't be able to visualize that data in the AFS Connect portal. And you will be limited to fleet parameters, which are basically parameters around the engine and the transmission. So hardware is pretty simple when it comes to AFS Connect. KSH have migrated their modems from the older AM53 from Tierra, now through to the state-of-the-art PNCM. So if you have one of the new generation KSH or New Holland machines, otherwise known as the AFS Connect, Magnum or Steiger, or even the new sprayer, or one of the PLM Intelligence New Hollands, then you'll have the PCM as factory standard. It's built into the machine, it cannot be removed. For anything else, anything non-new generation, you'll have installed what we call the AM53 replacement, which is essentially the same state-of-the-art PCM, but a light version of it. It looks exactly the same, however, the internals are slightly different to the new generation PCM. A side note to consider here when it comes to hardware. Um, KSH don't currently have support for non-CAN vehicles. When I say non-CAN, I mean mechanical older vehicles, perhaps. Um, and this is something that is probably going to change in the future with the way the industry is going. But as of today, which is the 25th of November 2021, this is not an option offered by KSH. So just consider that. Side side note, those of you who have an AM53 modem, fear not, it is still supported on the new AFS or MyPLM Connect platforms. So 
If it's kind of gone stagnant, if it's on your machine and you're not using it, you can just approach your dealer to acquire a new subscription and your data can feed exactly the same as the newer PCM modems into the AFS Connect platform. So let's talk software. Now, subscriptions will need to be ordered if they weren't purchased from factory, of course. AFS Connect have simplified, or Case H, I should say, have simplified their subscription offering. Meaning what used to be basic, advanced, and file transfer, and all these different options, we now just have the one level, the one AFS Connect level. And that gives you all the features, all the functionality for you guys to leverage as much as you can out of the connectivity platform. Now, within this one level, there are different durations. So you can have a one year, you can have a three year, and you can have a five year. Everything has been simplified quite nicely now. So the web-based platform is included in the cost of the subscription. In fact, it's actually free. You don't need to get a subscription to have access to AFS Connect, um, which is, I guess when comparing to John Deere isn't as good as John Deere as John Deere are now offering everything for free when it comes to connectivity. If you didn't know that, check it out. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, the AFS Connect platform is free to use. Like you can go there right now, mycash.com, sign yourself up and start using the platform. The only caveat is that you will have to use uh, USB um, to load the data into the portal versus the automatic method if you had a subscription. But either way, the platform's there to use for free if you guys want to, so check it out. Now on to integrations. And in an ag industry today where every other day there's another new software released, I think integrations are becoming more and more important when considering your connectivity options. And this is where, I guess, the case eight strategy of being open and connected really comes in handy versus John Deere. As I mentioned earlier, Case Age have partnered with some big dogs in the industry. And I think in today's world of ag tech, integrations are massively important when considering long-term your strategy with connectivity and with precision farming. Now, what AFS Connect has done is integrate with Data Connect Initiative, which is also where John Deere and Class have integrated their data, allowing cross-platform sharing. So you can see John Deere or you can see Class information from your mixed fleet on one singular platform or AFS Connect. And obviously it works both ways. So if you wanted to see KSAH, you can also see that on the John Deere platform or the Class platform. Now the caveat to that is that it's limited to five parameters only. And those five parameters are location, current, location, historical, speed, fuel level, and work status. So bear that in mind. Yes, if you want to have John Deere and class on one platform, bear in mind that you will see a very limited amount of parameters on the AFS Connect platform. But to be honest, if you're just doing it for fleet optimization and to visualize everything in one portal, it's a really good feature. And in addition, you can leverage AFS Connect's breadcrumbing and geofencing uh, features that will also work with John Deere and Class if they are working on that platform. I think it's important to mention as well that Case H are building out their APIs or their integrations with other industry leaders. So this is a constant involvement. This is something that we're seeing in the industry um, and they have a team dedicated to integrating these different softwares and these different platforms for all the new companies, all the new startups that are coming into our industry today. And then lastly, when it comes to integrations, as you'd expect from a large manufacturer like Case AH, their software platform does also support other data formats from other third-party uh, precision farming solutions. So from Trimble, from Ag Leader, from Topcon, from John Deere. Now, obviously we can't automatically connect our data into the AFS Connect portal, but you're able to load via USB the data you capture from these different systems into AFS Connect to visualize everything in one holistic platform um, within your digital footprint, I guess, that you've built on AFS Connect. As with most vehicle options, 
It's generally a rule of thumb that it's always cheaper to order from the factory than it is later on through parts. So let's talk price. A PCM is standard spec and included in the base price of AFS Connect or PLM Intelligence machines, so the new generations of machines. Once you have that, you will obviously then need subscriptions. So subscriptions range from one to five years, and the price of these subscriptions are ranging between 400 to 1800 US dollars, depending on the duration. And obviously if you calculate that, there are some discounts offered over longer periods, of course. For PCM replacement vehicles, i.e. anything that is not new generation, so the Maxim, the Puma, uh, the Axle Flow, Sugarcane Harvesters, subscription costs are exactly the same as the new generation, so there's no change there. However, the PCM, or the AM53 replacement modem, is considered an additional option. It's not integral to the vehicle architecture, which means when selecting this option, additional costs may be incurred for the hardware itself. So bear that in mind. The subscription costs, again, are 400 to 1800 US dollars. If you don't currently have any hardware on your supported machine today, then this means that you will have to pay a slightly higher premium for the hardware. So for the PNCM or the AM53 replacement, this will set you back around 800 to 900 US dollars. As far as the subscriptions are concerned, it follows the same pricing structure as the new generation and the factory subscription pricing. So around the 400 to 1800 US dollars mark, depending on the duration once again. Bear in mind that this pricing does not consider any factory discounts or parts discounts. This is just price list. My top three takeaways if you're considering AFS Connect. Number one, take into account your connectivity and data plan for your entire fleet, especially if you have a mixed fleet. Remember that compatibility and check with your Case Age dealer before making any decisions to jump in. Number two, if you are already using a data platform, already have connectivity, just bear that in mind with your decision once again. Make sure that there's going to be a compatibility between the platforms that you are using. Whether there's an API or an integration or supported format, just make sure that you're not running two parallel different systems because this can make life a lot more difficult. And finally, number three, make sure, if possible, to order any AFS Connect options from factory. There are considerable cost savings when it comes to hardware and also potential factory discounts when ordering from the factory versus through parts. And that's it guys. So if you are just starting on your AFS Connect journey or even just want to learn more about precision farming, check out our other videos on the Farm How Guys channel. See you there.